Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Jenna and today I'm going to be talking about one of the most beautiful bags I have purchased this year and that is none other than the Saint Laurent Small Lulu Puffer in White Lambskin. This is a bag that I actually purchased a couple months ago back in April as a little birthday gift to myself. As you can see she is in immaculate condition but I wanted to wait a few months before filming a review so that I can give you an honest opinion about the wear and tear, the durability, and the versatility of this bag. Keep watching the video if you want to find out a little bit more about the price and the purchase process here in the UK, as well as what fits inside the bag and different ways to wear it. Make sure to check out the description box below where I have listed all the different timestamps, so feel free to skip forward to the part that you want. I hope you find this video helpful and let's get started. Let's start off by talking about the appearance and the key features of this bag. As you may know, the Lulu Puffer line has taken off with the puffy bag trend. I think the most eye-catching part of the bag is of course the leather and the quality of the leather. It is so puffy and smushy and especially in this white color, it just looks like a giant marshmallow or a big pillow and it definitely has that beautiful texture. The exterior is completely in lambskin. I'm not sure if the lighting shows it super accurately, but this is like a beautiful cream white. It's not a very kind of blinding artificial white, but it's not a beige either. So it's a very light color and, you know, definitely brave when it comes to the choices of bags. But I wanted to buy this in the spring to match some of my lighter outfits in the summer and also because I wanted to add a white bag in my collection. I was a little bit worried about wear and tear when I first purchased the bag and also in such a light color, but I'm not sure what it is that Saint Laurent does to treat the leather. It seems to have held up really well in the few months that I've had it. There's this beautiful chevron quilting which is signature to the Lulu line. In the front here we have a classic envelope flap opening, a very strong magnet as per, and then when you open her up on the inside it's just a big black hole with fabric lining and an interior zipped back pocket. On the back, similar to the Lulu, there is no back pocket and the chevron is the other way around. And here we have the shoulder straps as well. These are not removable, but adjustable in the sense that you can pull them up or down to either wear them on the shoulder or crossbody. As you can see with the chain, it has this beautiful antique brass gold hardware along the chains and also on the logo plaque up front. Another feature that I love about YSL bags is the leather band at the top of the straps for maximum comfort when you wear the bag. In terms of size, this is the small size. I believe there's also a mini puffer which only has a crossbody strap and then a larger size in the medium. I would actually put this as a medium size bag. It's definitely one of the larger ones that I have in my collection and I'll put the dimensions on the screen here. If we do a quick size comparison with the regular small Lulu, you can see that the puffer is much longer. The base is about as wide, but as you can see, the top narrows in in a triangular shape. In terms of height, they are pretty much equivalent as well. I'll also put the dimensions here. However, I do think that the Puffer Lulu can hold a lot more. I'll go on to show you this later, mainly because of the kind of smushiness of the leather, but also because of the way it's compartmentalized. As you may have seen in my small Lulu review, inside of the bag has a zipped compartment and is segmented so I think in that sense it also constrains what you can fit inside the bag. Next let's talk about what fits in my bag. You know I love seeing how much my bags can fit and the capacity is what really makes this bag practical. Like I mentioned before she opens up like this from the magnetic clasp. Inside is just a very large empty space. Because of this, I've realized that you can fit so much in here. Let's start off with the basics. We have phone, iPhone XS, card holder from Versace, AirPods, keys, can't go anywhere without toiletries. I've got this big toiletries bag packed with all sorts, hand sani, pads, mints, the whole lot. That goes straight in as well. 
As you can see, there is still a lot of space. She's filling up, but we can fit more. The trusty doggy brawly. So this umbrella you will fit fine if you just put her in like that. There's still loads of space. And I could have put that in first, but as you can see, it fits in there, no problem. If we close the bag now, close is fine, and there's no crazy bulging from the front or from the side. The back you can slightly bulbous in shape, I guess, but it's kind of due to the soft nature of the leather. Now, if we take the umbrella out, I can show you what else I can fit in there. This flat water bottle that I mentioned looks like a hip flask in my Louis Vuitton Speedy 20 video fits fine in there as well. I think I'll take out the huge toiletry bag because it's taking up a lot of space. I can also fit like a thick book, thick with a double C. There we go. That fits as well. You really can get a lot in this bag. And that's why I said the small size can be deceiving because you really can get a lot in here. To top this off, we can even put a phone charger. Just whack her inside. She'll close just fine. Really, really impressive in terms of capacity. Now obviously, depending on what you put inside, the bag can get quite heavy. What I do love is when it's empty, it's such a lightweight leather. The lambskin has really been such a surprise for me, and I think because of the fabric interior, I'm not really worried about what I shove in there because I don't have to think about it scratching the bag or anything like that. Let's move on to the ways that I wear this bag. The Lulu line is a classic shoulder bag style. So there are two shoulder straps here. You can just swing the bag over your shoulders like this. It doesn't stick out too much from the body at all. And because it's very, very smushy, your arm will lie very comfortably on the bag like so. The next way to wear the bag is to pull down on one of the straps and wear it crossbody like this. So I'm quite small in stature. I'm barely five foot two in height, so about 157 centimeters. And the Saint Laurent bags tend to hit me a little lower on the body. I know you can't really see with this shirt dress, but my hips are about here. So this does sit a little low on my body for my liking. I would prefer if it was slightly further up, but I think it looks okay. So I think I prefer to wear it as a shoulder bag just because it's slightly longer in size and I feel like it can be a little bit overpowering just to have a huge white marshmallow on the side of my hips. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way that I can shorten the strap. I went into the Saint Laurent store. They said that I can kind of tie up the chains here in between the rivets to shorten the chain, but I'm a bit worried of scratching the bag or just looking a bit bulky up top. Actually, a third way that I've been wearing a bag to kind of mitigate this issue is by taking this strap and hooking it up like this. This is what I like to call the hybrid way of wearing this. You have one strap crossbody, one strap on the shoulder, and this way it sits higher up, kind of gives you the ease of the crossbody, but also the security and the look of the shoulder bag. This does seem a bit weird, but actually it's very comfortable to wear as well. So from the side, it looks like you're doing a shoulder bag. From the front, it looks like you're doing a very short crossbody. And I actually find that I've been wearing it this way the most, just because of how comfortable it is and how secure it is as well. The final way that you can wear the bag is by pulling all the chains inside and just securing the bag like so. No, you can't do a top handle, but you can wear it as a big clutch. Now I know that the Lulu Puffer line also has a mini pouch slash clutch. You can achieve the same look here as well. I actually really like the way it looks as a clutch as well. Again, feels like you're holding a giant pillow at all times. I love it. One thing I did notice about the shoulder straps is that they are quite long and take up a lot of the chain. And I think it may be the fact that I haven't really worn into these as much, but when I wear it on the shoulder, they can tend to just slip down quite easily. They don't really fit the curvature of my shoulder well enough yet. I've been hoping after a few times wearing this out that this would change, but maybe it's just a feature of the bag that I'm gonna have to deal with as well. It's not really a huge issue, but the easy slippage is something that I've noticed. You know, if I turn around, it'll swing down fairly easily. To be very honest, I didn't reach for this bag as much as I would like, and it wasn't to do with the color. I mean, the color is stunning and goes with absolutely everything, like this ridiculously bright green dress. I think the issue was more that I was worried about how sweaty I was getting when the weather was a bit warmer. I was scared that this would 
rub off on the leather or you know just leave kind of like grubby marks on the bag so I found that I wasn't really reaching for it as much as I would have liked to. In terms of when I did wear it I didn't notice any color transfer on the back. I did wear it with some light jeans ones. I've worn it with kind of darker colors as well and it's actually been absolutely fine which is very surprising. There's also been no scratches at all. Like I always say I really don't baby my bags. This one maybe I've taken a little bit more. For the first time I wore her out I had her on the back of my seat and some lady sitting behind me brushed against it and it fell on the floor and nothing you know just patted off a little bit of dirt and it was absolutely fine. So actually the color and the durability has been better than expected but I think it may just be the little thing at the back of my mind saying I don't want to get it dirty. Now that the weather is getting a bit colder I'll be a bit more confident wearing her out with some light colored layers as I think the puffer look is traditionally kind of more associated with the winter as well. I don't know if that's just me but I feel like in this light color it's perfect year-round. It's a very classic combination obviously with the white and gold so I'm hoping to get a bit more wear out of her now that I'm less sweaty and wearing more clothes basically. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the price and the purchase process of the bag. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I bought this bag back in April 2021 off of Farfetch. This video is not sponsored by Farfetch. If you're watching Farfetch, this is a sign. But at the time, the price for the bag was £1,605. Now, I was lucky enough to still have my student discount available, so I got 10% off that price, which totaled to about £1,450, including £5 shipping from Farfetch. Beyond that, I actually got to have another discount. Balling on a budget is real. I have an American Express credit card, and with that, they have certain offers with certain stores online, so I managed to get another 10% off that discounted price. So in total, I think I paid around £1,300 for what was a £1,600 bag at the time. Now Saint Laurent, much like many other luxury brands, have been very sneaky with their price increases. So I looked today on the Saint Laurent website and the same bag, so the small Lulu puffer, in the same specs, in the same leather, has now gone up to £1,700. So within six months, there's already been quite a significant increase in price. The rate at which these price increases are happening is really frustrating for many of us. We're saving up for our dream piece, and so these pieces get more and more unattainable. However, the good thing about Saint Laurent is that it's still often included in some of the promo codes and discount codes that you can get off of sites like Farfetch and other online boutiques. So I'm sure if you keep looking, you can get a good deal off of these. I think the Lulu line is just such a classic style. The classic flap opening, there's the beautiful YSL logo on top but relatively minimalistic. The puffer line adds a bit more of a modern twist to the bag so I think it's slightly less formal than the original Lulu style but I do think I would also wear this in slightly more formal settings as well just because of how luxurious this looks, especially in the white. Do I think the puffy trend is going to die down. I'm not sure. I'm a huge fan of anything puffy, smushy, if it's good quality leather. And I think there's so many new players to the block that have come out with this kind of puffy aesthetic like the little coach pillow tabby, which I love so much as well. I feel like the hype might die down. You're seeing the Chanel 19 maybe be a little less visible than it was before, but I still think that if you love the aesthetic and if you love the quality, then why not? That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful in terms of understanding a bit more about the way it looks, what fits inside, and also the different ways that you can wear this bag out and about. As always, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. That's all for now, and I'll see you next time. Bye!